skies. This verse has been chosen by me because this verse really exemplifies His Grace Janike Nath Prabhu's life. And that is why I have chosen to speak on this verse. I would like to begin with a very brief Jai Radha Madha. Jaya Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari Jaya Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari Jaya Gopi Janavala Bha Nirivara Dhari Jaya Gopi Janavala Bha Nirivara Dhari Jaya Yashoda Nandana, Jaya Braja Janaranjana, Jaya Yashoda Nandana, Jaya Braja Janaranjana, Jaya Yamuna Kumbhakya, Jaya Kunja Bihari, Jaya Yamuna Kumbhakya, dear devotees for coming online to join in today's class eulogizing actually the life of this great Vaishnav Thakur Janaki Nath Prabhu Om Ajnana Timirandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Guru Venamaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Swapadantikam so we are going to read from Srimad Bhagavatam 7th Canto, which is the pastimes of Prahlad Maharaj and Lord Nashimadev. We are choosing the 6th chapter and verse number 24, which goes like this. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Narayanam Namaskrityam Naram Chaiva Narottamam Devim Saraswatim Vyasam Tato Jaya Mudiraye Nashtaprayeshva Badreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttamash Loke Bhaktir Bhavati Naishtiki. This is a very beautiful uh, chapter of Prahlad Maharaj. As we know, the seventh canto is full of pastimes of uh, Prahlad Maharaj. And here, uh, he's actually instructing his uh, demoniac schoolmates. It goes like this. 
तस्मात्सर्वेशु भूतेशु दयाम कुरुत सौरिदम भावम आसुरम उन्मुच्या यया तुष्यति अधोक्षा जहा Therefore, my dear young friends, born of demons, please act in such a way that the Supreme Lord, who is beyond the conception of material knowledge, will be satisfied. Give up your demoniac nature and act without enmity or duality. Show mercy to all living entities by enlightening them in devotional service, thus becoming their well-wishers. Translation and purport by Srila Prabhupada, Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. The Lord says in Bhagavad Gita 1855, Bhaktya Maam Abhijanati Yavan Yes Chasmi Tattvataha. One can understand the Supreme Personality as He is only by devotional service. Prahlad Maharaj ultimately instructed his class friends, the sons of demons, to accept the process of devotional service by preaching the science of Krishna consciousness to everyone. Preaching is the best service to the Lord. The Lord will immediately be extremely satisfied with one who engages in this service of preaching Krishna consciousness. This is confirmed by the Lord himself in Bhagavad Gita 1869. Na priya kritta maha. There is no servant in this world more dear to me than he, nor will there ever be one more dear. If one sincerely tries his best to spread Krishna consciousness by preaching the glories of the Lord and his supremacy, even if he is imperfectly educated, he becomes the dearmost servant of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. This is Bhakti. As one performs this service for humanity, without discrimination between friends and enemies, the Lord becomes satisfied and the mission of one's life is fulfilled. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu therefore advised everyone to become a guru devotee and preach Krishna consciousness. Yare dekha tare kaha Krishna upadesh. That is the easiest way to realize the Supreme Personality of Godhead. By such preaching, the preacher becomes satisfied and those to whom he preaches are also satisfied. This is the process of bringing peace and tranquility to the entire world. Muktaram yajna tapasam sarva loka maheshwaram suridam sarva bhutanam yatvam maam shantim richati one is expected to understand these three formulas of knowledge concerning the Supreme Lord, that he is the supreme enjoyer, that he is the proprietor of everything, and that he is the best well-wisher and friend of everyone. A preacher should personally understand these truths and preach them to everyone. Then there will be peace and tranquility all over the world. The word sauridam, Friendliness is very significant in this verse. People are generally ignorant of Krishna consciousness. And therefore, to become their best well-wisher, one should teach them about Krishna consciousness without discrimination. Since the Supreme Lord Vishnu is situated in the core of everyone's heart, every body is a temple of Vishnu. I'm going to read that sentence again. Since the Supreme Lord Vishnu is situated in the core of everyone's heart, every body is a temple of Vishnu. One should not misuse this misunderstanding as an excuse for such words as Daridra Narayan. If Narayan lives in the house of a Daridra, a poor man, that does not mean that Narayan becomes poor. He lives everywhere, in the houses of the poor and those of the rich, but in all circumstances he remains Narayan. To think that he becomes either poor or rich is a material calculation. He is always Shad Aishwarya Purna, full in six opulences in all circumstances. So thank you very much for listening patiently. I would like to go through this purport to share with you how Janaki Nath took up this mission of the Lord perfectly 
and actually became very dear to the Lord simply by his selfless, pure-hearted service in which there was, he never discriminated. He gave freely Krishna consciousness to everyone. And we have all seen from all the eulogies how friendly he was to everyone. Such a devotee becomes very dear to the Lord and receives special favor from the Lord. So, Lord says in Bhagavad Gita, Bhaktya Maam Abhijanati. One can understand me only by devotional service. So, Prahlad Maharaj is instructing his friends, the sons of demons, to accept the process of devotional service by preaching the science of Krishna consciousness to everyone. Now, Janaki Nath Prabhu is a preacher par exemplar. He preached everywhere and to everyone. And he used his talents, his skills, his abilities, his personal spiritual charisma, as we say, to charm everyone's heart and bring them closer to Krishna. He never discriminated. This one is a devotee, that one is a non-devotee, this one is young, this one is old, that one is white, that one is brown, that one is black. He gave freely to everyone Krishna consciousness. He satisfied the Supreme Lord simply by selflessly and fearlessly and completely without any motivation. It was unmotivated, it was uninterrupted. He had reached the pinnacle of pure devotional service by constantly practicing the principles of devotional service under the direction of Guru Maharaj. So preaching, as Srila Prabhupada writes here, is the best service to the Lord. The Lord immediately becomes not just satisfied, extremely satisfied with one who engages in the service of preaching Krishna consciousness. This is confirmed by the Lord himself. And he says, there is no servant in this world more dear to me than he, nor will there ever be one more dear. You know, Janaki Nath Prabhu, he was very young in terms of material life, in terms of, but he was a very old soul. He had many, many pious credits, obviously going back to many lifetimes. And he came into this lifetime with all that advanced spiritual degrees, as we say. And he picked up from where he left off. And this lifetime, Krishna gave him complete facility to perfect the human form of life. In the short time that he had, he used it to the maximum. He did not waste a single minute of his time. Every minute was used to serve Guru Maharaj, to serve this mission of Srila Prabhupada, to spread the message of Krishna consciousness, to spread the message of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, to give Krishna consciousness in every possible way to others. He was very, very um, charismatic personality because he was so friendly. He always had a big smile on his face. He treated you as though you were his best friend. And he had a genuine desire to help that soul by giving Krishna consciousness. It was a very deep concern, compassion, and natural love that had awakened in his heart by Krishna's mercy for everyone. So, as Srila Prabhupada says, even if he's imperfectly educated, he becomes the dearmost servant of the Supreme Lord. This is bhakti. As one performs this service without discrimination, between friends and enemies, the Lord becomes satisfied and the mission of one's life is fulfilled. So Janaki Nath Prabhu has attained perfection. He perfected the human form of life. He absolutely remains situated in pure transcendence, especially using the last few months of his life to go deeper and deeper and deeper into his relationship with Krishna to become very internal, to perfect his sadhana, to perfect his remembrance, his worship of the Lord. And to the last, he kept giving Krishna consciousness to others. One hour before he left his body, he shared his TED talk with a nurse. And then after she heard the whole thing, he asked her, so what did you learn? And she said, I think association is very important. And he said, yes, and please go. You will find the best association at Bhaktivedanta Manor. So this is our Janaki Nath. He had reached perfection. He had reached the point of spirit soul, which is only giving love to everybody. 
which is uh, which is beyond the purview of the material energy so that is why even though he was racked by pain incredible amount of pain and we won't be able to tolerate that kind of pain it is just a very very difficult thing his body had become completely emaciated he was really in a, a lot of uh, physical pain but his smile was radiant his consciousness was sharp and clear and his service attitude was perfect as at all times so he is really guru devotee as we heard madhavananda prabhu saying you know his wife said that if ever i have to take a guru it will be someone like janaki nath now that's a very high eulogy because we don't give our lives our hearts very easily to anyone and to find a spiritual master and to give one's heart to him is actually what we really want to do but we become so wary in this world of being cheated or being you know duped and exploited we are very careful to whom we give our heart but janaki nath won her heart and you know for ladies you know we are always a little wary of of prabhus you know how they are going to be how they are going to treat us what they are going to say what they are going to think of us how they are going to look at us but she was so completely at ease why because this was a pure devotee he just saw her soul and he gave her whatever love affection she needed to feel so comfortable that she said you know if i want a guru it will be like janaki na that is a very great thing so we can see over here how he had reached perfection so lord chaitanya says everyone should become guru, guru devotee and preach krishna consciousness yare dekha tare kaha krishna upadesh now i want to point out my dear brothers and sisters that we are not so qualified like janaki nath we are not so elevated like him we are not so um pure hearted but doesn't matter we can make a beginning we can start by following in our own small humble way we can try to follow his great example and preach krishna consciousness at whatever level we are at we may be simple householders so what we can be nice to our neighbors we can give them prasadam we can encourage them as they become you know more friendly in krishna consciousness doesn't matter in our own small little humble way we can try to preach in fact shila prabhupad i'll give you this uh, little anecdote if this is in the very early days of krishna consciousness uh little saraswati malati and uh, mataji and shamsundar prabhu's little daughter she was uh, going around at the sunday feast and she was talking to people and she was asking them do you know who is krishna he is the supreme personality of godhead and you should surrender unto him <laughs> like this prabhupa when he came to know of it he was so pleased with her he said she is the perfect preacher whatever she knows she is sharing with others so this is the message whatever little bit we know whatever tiny little knowledge we have it doesn't matter we are not scholars we are not great vedantists we are not um, maybe bhakti shastri bhakti vedanta bhakti vaibhav etc doesn't matter whatever little bit we know we can share with others we can be kind and friendly to others in fact one of the first you know qualities of vaishnav in that list what is that friendly to everyone friendly to all living souls why because he sees the krishna in everyone's heart he sees the supreme lord in everyone's heart so we can take courage and we can pray to janaki nath prabhu i know i'm not so great like you but please help me to please our guru maharaj just as you have pleased him so much teach me how to please our guru maharaj how to preach krishna consciousness let me do my little tiny bit to contribute to lord chaitanya's mission and surely we will get his blessings we will get blessings of guru maharaj and shri lakha upad and lord chaitanya because remember we may be very tiny but as long as we are trying krishna sees that effort and he blesses that effort to make us stronger and better in our krishna consciousness just like that little ant in uh, building lord ram's bridge is just a tiny little ant or a spider or something like that 
and all he could pick up was one tiny little grain of sand, but he was diligently going up and down, up and down, you know, picking that grain of sand and putting, and Hanuman, the great warrior, he looked at that little spider and he said, started laughing, you know, Hanuman was lifting big, big, you know, gigantic boulders and mountain peaks and huge trees and, you know, putting them on the bridge. And so he said, what are you doing, little spider? Get out of my way. <laughs> and Lord Ram saw that and he said, Hanuman, this little spider is doing his service. Just as you are doing your service, he is also doing his service. And his service is as pleasing to me as your service. So we should not get phased by, you know, uh, big, big personalities who are very elevated. Yes, we, we offer all respects to them. We honor them. We pray to them. But we must continue in our own small, humble way to serve this great mission of Lord Chaitanya. Because Lord Chaitanya has come to save all the fallen conditioned souls. And Srila Prabhupada has come to save everyone. And when we join in that mission, when we take up that mission, we, our lives will be blessed and we will become a blessing to others. What a blessing Janaki Nath Prabhu is and continues to be to everyone. In fact, he will have more impact now after leaving his body than even before. As Bhakti Kita Maharaj said, I will have more of an impact after I leave this world because people will start looking at his works, looking at his books, looking at his life, looking at his legacy, and they will take more inspiration that what a great soul lived and how he conducted himself, how he lived and how he died. Bhakti Kita Maharaj showed by his own example how to live and how to leave, like Bhishma Dev, like a warrior. And our Janaki Nath did the same thing. He was so sweet, he was so simple hearted and Saralta, as uh, Gaur Gopal Prabhu, I think, said, or Gauranga Prabhu said, Saralta means simplicity. It was very simple and straightforward. There was no duplicity. There was no um, crookedness. There was no double-facedness. There was no ulterior motive. There was no preconceived notions. There was no hidden agenda. It was simple, straight Krishna consciousness. This is the glory of Janaki Nath Prabhu. And by such preaching, he made his life perfect and we can learn from his example. We see that he was able to rise above the material. He was able to rise above the platform of material suffering by transcending that, by bringing his consciousness higher and higher and higher until, you know, like red hot iron in fire, he became non-different from the pure spiritual energy. So this is how we want to be. This is how we want to make our lives perfect in Krishna consciousness and bring peace and tranquility to the whole world by giving people the truth. And what is that truth? You are not God. <laughs> Only God is God. We are just part and parcel of Krishna. We are meant to serve Krishna, love Krishna, worship Krishna, satisfy Krishna, please Krishna, make our lives perfect and go back home. Just like Janaki Nath. We want to all go back home. We want to join Janaki Nath. And we want to be singing and dancing in the spiritual world with him. So we can do that by taking the message of Krishna consciousness, by sharing these truths with everyone, by first and letting them enter deep in our own heart that Krishna is the supreme enjoyer, he's the supreme proprietor, he's the best well-wisher and friend of everyone, and he wants everyone to come back to him. Then there will be peace and tranquility all over the world, and all spirit souls can get relief from the burning fire of material existence that everyone is roasting in and come back to Krishna. I want to speak about the very last paragraph of this purport. The word sauridam, friendliness, is very significant in this verse. And why is friendliness so important? Because the mass of people are so ignorant of Krishna consciousness and they are so much in need of Krishna consciousness that nothing less than pure friendliness will touch their hearts. 
they must feel in their heart that this person is my genuine well-wisher. He cares about me. He wants me to do well. He wants my welfare. He wants me to perfect my life too. And he has no ulterior motives. He's pure-hearted. Then people will be attracted. And Chianiki Nath exemplified this quality. He was everyone's friend. Before you knew him, he was your friend. After you, you, you knew him, he was your best friend. <laughs> and he was so loving, so kind, so giving, so humble, completely without any false ego, false pride, false prestige, just ready and willing to serve in wherever, whichever capacity that was needed at that moment. In fact, he brought peace to everyone simply by his demeanor, by his uh, being completely fixed in service. He was able to recruit everyone. He was like a general on the battlefield. Yes, yes, yes. Everyone join in, everyone help, everyone do. So I very much think that he's our very own Jayananda Prabhu. You know, Jayananda Prabhu used to be called Johnny Ananda. And Johnny Ananda, was so friendly to everybody in Los Angeles. The shopkeepers knew him, the mailmen knew him, the garbage men knew him, the street uh, people knew him. I mean, everyone knew him. Why? Because he was so friendly and he was so kind and he was always trying to help everyone. Somehow or the other, he gave them Krishna consciousness. He engaged them in service. Ordinary people off the street, when he was building the Ratyatra cart, he would say, hey, come on, do you think you can help out a little bit? And therefore, the devotional life began just by maybe knocking one nail in that Ratiata card or whatever little bit they did, they began their devotional service like that. And our Janaki Nath Prabhu did the same thing. Whether he was in the cancer ward or he was in the hospital, he was on the, on the operation table. The next moment when he was back to consciousness, he was on the battlefield. Because remember what Srila Prabhupada says, Becoming a devotee means more or less to declare war on the, on the illusory energy. So he was a soldier. He was a general. He was completely un understanding that we have to fight the good fight. How? With the weapons of the holy name, with the weapons of love and care and concern and giving Krishna consciousness to others in whatever way we can. So he was out there every moment battling, just like uh, Srila Prabhupada said, until my last breath, I want to be fighting for Krishna. So our Janaki Nath Prabhu was like Arjuna, fighting for Krishna till the last breath. And he considered everyone as deserving of the Lord's mercy. Why? Because Krishna is situated in everyone's heart. He never discriminated. In fact, it's so marvelous that he used the cancer as a means to reach even more people, to bring more people closer and closer to Krishna. After the treatment was over, he organized cancer retreats for all the other patients, some doctors, some nurses to come to Bhaktivedanta Manor and get a full dose of Krishna consciousness. I think it was morning to you know evening or afternoon, maybe a full program of Kirtan and Prasadam and touring the grounds and getting Krishna consciousness and it, that, that's how they began their journey back home, back to Godhead. This is the deep desire of a true Vaishnav. How to bring everyone closer and closer to Krishna. And Janaki Nath Prabhu purified his life. He's a glorious example of how he used every moment, every talent, every skill, and every good quality that that he had in Krishna's service. It's amazing for me to just recall how many good qualities Krishna put in one person. <laughs> so actually, this is a time to celebrate Janaki Nath Prabhu's life because it's a celebration. He went back home, he went back to Krishna. This jubilation when there's victory and he has become victorious over the cycle of birth and death. He has gone back to Krishna. And we now must take courage. We must take inspiration. We must take guidance. We must take the example of Janaki Nath Prabhu. And we must follow in his footsteps. 
make our life successful and get his blessings, get Guru Maharaj's blessings and make our life successful, just like Janaki Nath Prabhu did. In fact, Janaki Nath Prabhu is still preaching even now. Shall I share a little something with you? <laughs> I would like to do that. When the TED Talk video was sent to all of us by um, Radha Bhakti, Bhakti Mataji, I shared it with you know different people. I'm part of a interfaith climate coalition here in New Orleans, and many different uh, religious people are there. You know, Christians, Baha'is, Jews, Muslims, so on and so forth. So once I sent it to all of them, they went through that TED talk. And you know the responses? I'm going to read it out to them. These are all uh, big spiritual leaders in their own tradition. This is Reverend Gregory Manning. He is the head of Broadmoor Community Church. He's also the head of Justice and Beyond. He is a community activist. He uh, also has a coalition against uh, Death Alley. So he's a big, big person in our local New Orleans circles because of all the things he is doing for the community. You know what he writes? My condolences to you and to all of us, Dr. Lakshmi. He was an incredible witness of how to be positive even in your suffering. The pillars of association, balanced mind and contribution is truly a model that all of us should use to govern our lives. Thank you so much for sharing. May God give you peace and joy as you remember him. This is Reverend Manning. There's another Reverend Joey Clavio. He is the head of St. George Episcopal Church. He says, thank you, Dr. Lakshmi. That was both beautiful and inspiring. Your God brother is in my prayers for thanksgiving for a life well lived, peace and blessings. Then this is by Betty Kustin. She is a member of the St. John's Catholic Church. She says, Lakshmi, that's, you know, how they know me. His TED talk was so beautiful and inspiring. I'm sure you will miss him. My condolences to you and love to you, Betty. Then this is by our Baha'i friend on the group. This is a very impressive talk by JD. He called him JD as he is known by everyone. I offer this prayer from the words of Baha'u'llah for the continuing progress of his soul. And then he wrote that prayer and he says, you know, glorifying Baha'u'llah and asking Baha'u'llah to bless the soul Janaki Nath. So you can see how he's continuing to touch everyone's heart. And he will continue to do that because the glorious life of a Vaishnav, of a pure Vaishnav, continues forever. Even after that person leaves, thou art living still in sound. So you see, just like uh, George Harrison. George Harrison left his body, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 years ago. His music continues, his articles, books, everything continues. He's still preaching. Why? Because he gave his life to Srila Prabhupada. And he made his life molded around the mission of Srila Prabhupada. And so his works continue to live. And so will Janaki Nath Prabhu. He will continue to live in our hearts. He will continue to live by his example. He will continue to live through the glorification. I'm very, very certain there will be books written about him. And for the next 10,000 years, the life of Janaki Nath will stand out as a shining example of complete devotion to Guru and Krishna. And then, thus he has made his life successful and he has shown us the way how to make our life successful. So thank you so much for listening patiently. We will now open up for discussion. It would not be very nice to see everyone, my God family, and come together to glorify Janaki Nath. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much, Mataji. That was a beautiful class. And you chose a perfect verse uh, dedicating to His Grace Janaki Nath Prabhu. Thank you so much, Mataji. I request devotees, if there are any comments, questions, please go ahead. Uh, Hare Krishna. Thank you very much, dear Vrinda, for hosting us.
Sure, Mataji, can I just share something? Sure, please. I really like the last part which you shared, like how we should take up the passing away of a glorious Vaishnava and how we should um, react to it because it's a glorious event. It's not like, it, of course, it is a separation, but how we should how we should act after that, that you really explained very beautifully, Mataji. I really like that part. Thank you so much. Yes, and I'm, I'm taking this message from actually His Holiness Bhakti Tita Maharaj. You know what Bhakti Tita Maharaj said? The greatest honor we can give a Vaishnav is to follow their example, to honor their legacy, to follow in their footsteps. So we can all learn from Janaki Nath Prabhu how to be and how to conduct ourselves and how to serve and how to overcome very difficult circumstances to serve the Lord because he did that. So what are our problems, little problems compared to what Janaki Nath faced? It's just incredible what he went through and still came out on top. That is an amazing legacy and an amazing example for all of us. Thank you, Vinda. Yes, true, Mataji. Thank you, Mataji, for sharing that. It's Susanna's birthday today. Happy birthday, Susanna. May your day and your life be filled with Krishna oh consciousness. Oh my God, Hare Krishna. <laughs> I've just been to the call. Shri Devi, you are wonderful. Thank you. Hare Krishna to everyone. Please accept my humble obeisance. It's all glories to Srila Prabhupada and Guru Dev. Thank you. Sorry for the late joining. Too bad. All right. You know, a birthday is actually a time to take stock. You know, it's a time to reflect and think, okay, so many years are over. I don't know how many years are left. This is where I am. What do I want to do? What do I need to do? How can I move closer towards Krishna's divine plan and purpose for my life? What needs to change? What needs to go away? What needs to come on? You know, it's actually a time of Doing inventory. <laughs> Stop taking, as they say. You are right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sure many of you have online had a lot of personal association with Janaki Nath Prabhu and you must have seen so much more than I did. So I would be happy to hear from you about Janaki Nath Prabhu. Or if you want to say something about the verse, that's fine too. Yes, Vrindavanath Prabhu, please my, accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada, all glories to Gurudev, all glories to our wonderful God, Brother Janaki Nath Prabhu. Please go ahead. Hare Krishna Mataji, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada, all glories to Gurudev, and all glories to Janaki Nath Prabhu, and all glories to you, Mataji. I, I like uh, Ajay said, uh, yesterday also i am that unfortunate soul who could not get any uh, association with janakinath prabhu and uh, uh, honestly speaking i was not knowing much about janakinath prabhu except like in last few weeks when i came to know about uh, health issue and health challenges but one thing like um, in last few days uh, something like when i went to, to temple yesterday I was thinking maybe Janaki Nath Prabhu, like few devotees know, of course, like in our God family, people know, in Manor, Watford in UK, people know. But it's something, devotee does not want any fame, does not want anything. And of course, Janaki Nath Prabhu never wanted anything, uh, what um, I've seen and what I've heard about him and also through his lectures. I can very well understand his uh, thinking process and consciousness. 
but uh, everywhere like so many places i just called in india here temples everybody was just knowing about jankinath prabhu and he is like such popular soul of course like for a devotee it doesn't matter at all whether he or she is popular or who for devotee if somebody is appreciating they a right devotee in pure krishna consciousness they feel it as a suicide so they want to and uh, i remember uh, madhvind puri when devotee were trying to appreciate him when in, after khir chor uh, that story and he was trying to run away from those villages and from those people that no please don't glorify uh, but uh, and uh, one another good thing like come to my mind that uh, somebody was saying that uh, goddess of uh, fame uh, she is always a bachelor because people who are behind her she never approach them and people who are trying to run like run away from her she is always trying to approach her, them mm-hmm. so i feel like like when everybody was appreciating and i was really thinking somehow like that came in my mind i thought i will share this mata ji that uh, krishna is having wonderful uh, leela and all the arrangements for his devotee even devotee does not want to be glorified but he never let any opportunity to go away to glorify his pure devotee through every means through everything so sorry mata ji i don't know whether it's relevant for today but somehow it came in my mind yesterday when i was in temple thought i will share today thank you no no it's very relevant it's beautiful what you just spoke and this is so true of janaki nath he was so uninterested in name fame adoration distinction he was simply focused on service he was simply focused on how to please guru and krishna he was simply focused on how to give krishna to others that was all he had no other he was like one pointed focus you know so he had no time to waste with anything else i never heard him say one unkind word of anyone he never criticized anyone he had no time for negativity he was just focused on guru and krishna and how to please them so he is he is very very special he is a very exalted soul and he never even portrayed himself as an exalted soul the thing is his greatness is coming more and more becoming more and more evident now <clears throat> you know we have this tendency to take people for granted we don't really appreciate them when they are around and so maybe you know of course janaki nath prabhu wasn't like that many many people immediately understood he is a very special soul but also you know because of our kali yuga conditioning we tend to take people for granted and bhakti tita maharaj said this about you know his mother saying you know give me the flowers when i'm still alive what is the use of giving flowers to my cold dead body so actually janaki nath never ever missed an opportunity to appreciate others he was always trying to glorify help uplift elevate the consciousness of others somehow or the other so he did not take others for granted we may have taken him for granted but he never took anyone or anything for granted he was very conscious of krishna he was very krishna conscious you know shila prabhupad says first you become conscious <laughs> then you can become krishna conscious we are hardly conscious most of us are in the days you know trying to figure out what to do for the day but janaki nath prabhu he was fixed in his service to krishna so yes you know fame is running after him now he is going to be more and more famous as time goes on of a stalwart fixed spiritual warrior who just bravely fought through all that pain and suffering just like how bhakti tith maharaj he had cancer he was in so much pain but he just kept going janaki nath is doing the same thing and he is teaching us to do the same thing very beautiful uh, reflection thank you thank you for sharing that you know any thing we say about janaki nath it's not enough so vrindavan nath prabhu please feel free to share more if you want to <laughs> thank you mata ji thank you very much you are full of humility mata ji i think that's also we need to learn from you so thank you <laughs> i am just a pretender i am trying to be 
The real deal is Janaki Nath. I'm trying to learn from him how to be really gentle and humble. I'm not like that at all. Unfortunately, and please forgive me, I really request my God family to forgive me for all my faults. You see, I came from a very difficult family background. And so I did not grow up with proper, you know, training or social skills or anything. So I'm still learning. I'm still in the shower. So when I mess up, please forgive me. I see Vishnu Priya is here. Vishnu Priya, you want to say something? Samya Datri is here. Manju Ali is here. You all must be knowing so much more about Prabhu than me. Please share if you would like to. Hare Krishna, dear Sri Devi, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Guru Maharaj, all glories to our dear Janaki Nath. I think that I was speaking already a lot the last few days. There are devotees is uh, Soumya Datri. She was also, she also had opportunity to have a lot of association of our Janaki Nath. I just can tell that my heart is completely broken. I, I was in contact today in, with uh, Radha Bhakti and I told to her that uh, I don't know. It's more than family member. It's more than only God brother. It's some, I don't know. It's just, I'm looking forward to see tomorrow how everything will be organized. And uh, I hope I will be, I will be Kishori Vyar online. I hope I will be uh, more in contact with Ekta, with the cousin. Yeah. Thank you. I'm glorifying him everywhere. What can? What else one can do? Exactly. Exactly. Please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Prabhupada. All glories to Gurudev. All glories to Janaki Nath Prabhu. And I miss you also so much, Sri Devi. <laughs> this I wanted to share with you. I can't imagine why you must miss me. I'm the one I who mean, everybody wants to run away from and you're actually missing me. So this tells me how exalted <laughs> you are. You're willing to pick up a leper and a beggar. <laughs> I hope that next year's will be better. I'm so sad that last two years we didn't have opportunity to personally meet Janakina. And yesterday with Lila Shakti Mataji, I was counting his fourth in line of Maharaja's disciple who left disciples who left body. Really? So, yes. Yes. There was first Mahabalarama Prabhu from Croatia, our older god brother. He was first. Then it was uh, Prabhuji, husband of um, Lila Shakti. Mataji, and then Krishna Mai, Mataji, and now Janaki Nath. Oh, mm. I didn't know that. Yeah, and we were thinking maybe there is some idea came that maybe we will we will do something that whole God family because God family is now growing more and more devotees are coming that everyone knows about them. Yes, I think that is a very wonderful thing to do. Yes. Those everyone, yes. every one of them was special. Every mm. one of them was very special. When I think back, every one of them was really special. Mm. And it's always something glorious in life of Vaishnava. Right, right. I so, personally did not know Mahabalaram or Krishna Mai. I did know Rajanath Prabhu because he was a wonderful, wonderful spiritual dad to me for that little time that we spent together. And of course, I knew Janaki Nath, but uh, thank you for sharing that. And maybe we can do something like that. Yes, nobody should be forgotten somehow, especially not from family members. Yes, I agree. Isn't it? Yes. yes. Okay, then we will do something. And all our glories to our Janaki Nath Prabhu and to all Vaishnava. Hare Ibo. Hare Ibo.
Thank, Thank you for a wonderful lecture also. And when I was reading uh, verse and purport, I was thinking, oh, this is perfect. Thank mm -hmm. you for all inspiration. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Vishnu Priya. Thank you for your kind blessings and mercy on me. Oh, you are the senior sister. You should Great bestow hair. some blessings. I always tell my God family, please don't think gray hair means senior. Gray hair just means old. That's all. It doesn't mean I'm senior. <laughs> I, have, I have also some other experiences, not only gray hair. <laughs> so, okay, I will not take more of the time. I hope that maybe Soumya Datri will tell something and yes. all other. Hare Krishna. Yes. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Dear Samya Datri, my dear God sister, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Prabhupada, all glories to Guru Maharaj. Please. Yeah, Hare Krishna. I'm sorry, I'm not at home. I'm now <laughs> here uh, uh, in market and I switch on to hearing you. Yeah. Uh, uh, and. Uh, I'm not in a position to say something, uh, but uh, the first, uh, thank you for your uh, your lecture, all you said about Vaishnava, all you said about Janikinath, so it's very, very, very uh, uh, touch my heart and uh, I, I have to finish now. I'm here uh, with many people, and I will uh, only uh, hearing and uh, being connect. Sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah. And all uh, my humble obeisance is all Vaishnavi Vaishnavas who hearing this lecture. Thank you very much, Hare Krishna. Thank you, Samir Our humble obeisance is to you, dear God sister. Hare Krishna. Anybody else would like to speak about Janaki Nath or something in the verse or purport that reminds you of him? Anything at all is fine. Nitai Nataraj Prabhu, you want to say anything? Yeah, I can say one more like uh, from, uh, I think it was a few years back, you know, we had like uh, in Vandavan, you know, New Vandavan. So that was like 24 hour kitten, you know. So Maharaj and Guru Maharaj and uh, he, they was there too. You know? So we went, uh, we we went from Chicago. So it was a big a whole family like Silpa, Naresh, and uh, almost uh, my daughter. They came too. You know, so we almost like eight of them. You know, and then uh, somehow like uh, after the twenty-four hour kitten was over, somehow Maharaj, Guru Maharaj had another plan. You know, so Zanki Nath came with us in uh, in. Uh, uh, like uh, we drove from like a uh, new one down to Chicago, you know. So we spent almost like uh, eight hours with him, you know. So it was a great time with him. Like uh, we was asking questions and getting all uh, chatting for almost like eight. It was the best time ever, you know. So we got his uh, almost uh, eight hours essentially with him, you know, traveling with uh, with him in that day, you know, at that time, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's just, uh, everything is a uh, video about him, you know. He's just, uh, everything is. So nice, you know. And plus the home, you know, he coming and uh, we getting uh, his uh, the home program and all other things. I mean, just amazing things, you know. So sweet, you know. So we all thanks I mean, this everything, you know, for his service and unbelievable. Thank you, yes. Mataji. Thank you, Nita Natraj Prabhu, for sharing that. You're so fortunate to get eight hours of Guru Maharaj and Janaki Nath Prabhu. What a wonderful, wonderful, yeah. uplifting time. Yeah. One moment's association with a pure devotee is so uplifting. Lava Matra Sadhu Sangha Sarva Siddhi Hoi. In all success. So I'm sure your life is going to be so blessed and become more and more perfect as time passes. This is wonderful to hear. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else would like to share anything? We have Manjuali, we have Ivana, we have Anand Vrindavan, 
We have Sudha. Anybody wants to say anything? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. All glories to yourself, but all glories to you. Jai. Thank you, Manju Ali, for coming on. Please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Prabhupada and Gurudev. Uh, I had only one time experience with Janaki Nath, uh, when we, he wanted to uh, come to Guru Maharaj and Vishnu Priya and Nita Kishori and I went to, with the car to go and get him and he was unbelievable, his energy, his smile, his <laughs> preaching the whole time as you mentioned and, and it was uh, he wanted uh, to buy something for Guru Maharaj in some store and we went in and he was like, you know, we must preach to people. And I said, okay, but now we in the store, how can we preach? We can go and buy something and go out. No, no, look at the woman there. She's uh, putting something on the, you know, doing some stuff on the... the, the and he was like, no, no, go to her. Say, how are you today? Are you happy? If you're not happy, you know why? You don't have some uh, Krishna consciousness. <laughs> you are not um, uh, devoted. You are not uh, serving some uh, great souls. Go and tell her you must do this. And I was like, oh, my God, I can do this. <laughs> and he was, okay, I'm just trying. <laughs> That's gently. <laughs> Always no, and it was it was really, really unbelievable with him in this ten minutes that we were alone. This uh, that you and, and Guru Maharaj and everybody had this experience with him that he was really the whole time only in his service and to give Krishna consciousness to him. Like he was unbelievable and he was not mad at me he was just laughing okay i try <laughs> if you can not do it it's okay also you can buy something and go out mm -hmm. yeah he was really an unbelievable soul and we are all blessed that he was a part of our god family thank you for your service again thank you manjuali thank you for sharing that such a special person Amazing personality. So much to learn from Janaki Nath's life. So much. You remember yes, I remember. Yes, I remember. Yes, I remember. But can you also remember what was his uh, um, joke? He said, it must be that I'm very sick because nurse and doctor are coming to pick me from airport. Yes. <laughs> and he wanted yes. to... Uh, uh, he came to Guru Maharaj without him knowing or something like yes. this. Yes. Okay. They wanted to surprise him. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. I forgot this. This. Yeah. 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 This story. And, yeah, the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah he had smiles and laughs wherever he went. He yeah. couldn't. Yell. After some time, you are either laughing or smiling, <laughs> or both. <laughs> He just brought so much joy wherever he went. He was so full of positive energy that you couldn't help it. You know, even if you wanted to be grumpy or angry or anxious, all that just melted away and you just became happy just to be with him. <laughs> so powerful. Very, very powerful spiritual personality. But Sri Devi, I also learned one thing. Usually we are glorifying devotees when they cannot hear, body is not anymore there. But now I would like to glorify Manjuali. Mm. Because we didn't have, I think she's still there, we didn't have anyone to go from Zagreb to Ljubljana to take Janaki Nath from the airport. And then she said, this, this is not a problem. We can go, I will drive. <laughs> so she's always like this. And I really want that we appreciate the devotees when they are still with us. Right. And that we show them how they are important, how they are special, how they are big. Yeah, this is important. This is somehow small lesson which I learned because now 
I always feel I was chastising him, I was joking with him, but I didn't tell him enough how he's actually my big brother. Mm. Yes, yes, you have touched on a very important point, Vishnu Priya. It's very important for us to appreciate, you know, the good qualities of others and to uh, say that to them. We may sometimes even feel in our hearts but we may be too shy or we may feel embarrassed to say it, but we should try to overcome that because that might actually give that devotee encouragement mm -hmm. and it might bring out their, uh, they might say, oh, I didn't know I, I could do that well. I didn't know that that was a good effort. Maybe I have that skill. I have that talent. Maybe I can use that in Krishna's service. So we are like mirrors when we reflect those things back to them. So I think you've said something really important for our God family, saying we should uh, encourage and uplift and appreciate one another just to enhance our devotional service to Guru and Krishna. So that's a beautiful thing you said. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so Shamarani has joined us just now. Would you like to say something about Janaki Nath Prabhu, my dear God sister? Hare Krishna, everyone. Please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. All glories to my lovely God family. All glories to Guru Deva. Hare Krishna, what can I say? <laughs> uh, I won't be able to say anything, I'm afraid. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, we just... Uh, yeah. But just an amazing devotee and um, so proud to be, um, you know, in a God family and, um, um, you know, to have association with Jankinath Prabhu. I mean, he helped us. I, I remember, um, you know, when I um, started aspiring for Guru Maharaj and um, one day I've been asked to cook for him. I mean, and I was so scared. I mean, so nervous. I mean, who won't know me? You know, he's serving first time to a spiritual master. And Jan Kina Prabhu was there and he asked me that, would you like to cook for Guru Maharaj? And I said, yeah, that would be lovely. And um, he was just such a kind devotee. You know, he knew how nervous I was. And um, he was keep coming, you know, in say, I keep going, go Ranga, I just pop in the root kitchen and said, you okay, you're cool, Mataji. And, you know, he's in his like <laughs> kind of swank talk. And, and I just still remember that how much the encouragement and, uh, you know, it's like a, such an exalted devotee, such an exalted devotee. He's had just all the qualities, you know, how to encourage and get best out of others and how to help. I mean, it's just words I cannot describe how much um, I appreciate, you know, and as I think Vishnu Priya said, I think the appreciating one another is just so important, you know, um, he's just um, taught us so much, so many things um, to learn from him, even I can learn a tiny bit from him, but yeah, the the, the main point I think I've learned that how to serve Guru Maharaj with his all, all enthusiasm and, um, you know, with like uh, running around and oh, I've seen him in the kitchen, but I just, I just remember so many things and he's just happy face. I just can't get over it. Um, I mean, I know he's um, as much as we want him, I think Krishna needed him more. and. Um, yeah, it's just, I'm feeling just so sad to, um, to lose such an um, amazing yeah. God brother, really is. Yeah, it is actually loss and sadness for us because he's with Krishna, you know. He has yeah. made his life perfect. He has gone back to the spiritual world. It is yeah, really yeah, yeah. in lamentation that such an elevated God brother who yeah. has teaching us so much has left us bereft. Pasane kutibo matha. Anali Pasibo. Oh, hey, Vaishnav Thak. I mean, Jayani Lo Premadhana. Karuna Tachur. Kota Dela. Jayani Lo Premadhana. Karuna Prachur. Kota Dela. 
what is that what are the words after that i forget such a beautiful song separation of vaishnav thakur a real vaishnav when the vaishnav leaves he is left in such lamentation in such a ocean of sorrow and despair because such a vaishnav has just uplifted you and made your life so much better so yeah hino prabhu ko tha gela acharya thakur kaha mora swaru prupa kaha sanata i jump to the fourth one because that's significant pasane kuti bo matha anale pasibo goranga gunira nidhi kotha gele pabo kesab sangira sange ekoi lobina sangana paya kale narota mada beautiful thank you brinda uh, shamarani would you like to read the translation for us yeah all of them or yeah just read the english translation number 1 he who brought the treasure of divine love and who has filled with compassion and mercy well there is such a personality as advaita acharya gon number 2 where are my swarup damodar and rupa goswami where is sanatana where is ragunath das the savior of the fallen number 3 where are my ragunath but patta and gopal patta and where is krishna das kaviraj where did lord gauranga the great dancer suddenly go i will smash my head against the rock and enter into the fire where will i find lord gauranga the reservoir of all wonderful qualities being unable to obtain the association association of lord gauranga accompanied by all of these devotees in whose association he performed his pastimes narottam das simply weeps yes this is the mood of separation from great vaishnavas you know who have given so much to us by their example so you know where to find janaki nath in our heart janaki nath's memories janaki nath's life janaki nath's legacy of being so sweet you just think of janaki nath and a smile comes to your face you just remember janaki nath and you remember his sweetness you remember how he smiled you remember how he said go rana <laughs> every time he saw you so you know where to find janaki nath in our heart he is there and he is ever willing to help us he is ever willing to show us the way so we pray to him to please guide us so that we can we are just toddlers right now we are just infants crawling around you know falling stumbling but he is there to help us and to teach us how to serve guru maharaj how to become stalwart spiritual warriors ourselves we need that training we need that training yeah so i see that raj is also there online and he's from uk so raj do you have something you would like to share thank you shamarani hari krishna ma ji number of visitors is on the list so far Glory to Janaki Nath. Except my humble obeisances, all the glories to the Holy Father, all glories to you, devotees. Uh, I I don't have a great deal to say. Uh, the first time I met Janaki Nath Prabhu was when uh, a little, a couple, maybe two, three years ago, when. I was started a bhakti life course 
class and he was the teacher and I remember I entered the room and there were other students there but Jan Kinat Prabhu had not arrived yet and uh, the, the there were three Matajis there and they were they were glorifying Jankinat so much. They were expressing so much love for him. I at that time I did not know who he was, but I just I immediately saw that there were people that just loved him so dearly and they would follow him to the end of the earth. And then I, I noticed that when he gave the class. He was unlike all of the other teachers. All of the other teachers in all the classes that I'd been to, they would come, they would deliver the class, they would walk away. They may set you some homework, but uh, they would walk away at the end of the class. Jan Kinnat went the extra 500 miles with his classes. He was not content with just giving us some knowledge he wanted to give us experiences so he invited his dear friends like Raghupati and his dear wife came to teach us all about deity worship he made sure that we went out on Harinam he made sure that we were he, he took us to Govindas he made sure that we experienced house programs he made sure that we experienced Damodara Askatam to the fullest. He made sure that we experienced the morning program. He, did, he didn't need to do any of that. He could have just come, delivered the knowledge and stepped away. Uh, that's all we had expectation of, all I had expectation of, but no. And even long after, every time, uh, we met because because every time we bumped into each other at the manor, whether it's in the shoe hall or in the gardens or anywhere, he would always stop, no matter how busy he was, he would always stop and ask after my welfare. And I would see that he would stop others and he would and he would like be. And I noticed that unlike many other people who always stop and ask after how are you are etc he was deeply concerned and he wouldn't he wouldn't be happy if you just gave a a passing remark like you do to many others who are just you know being polite he would want to know deeply and and he was like well, so long as you're doing this, so long as you're doing that, I don't want you to not be doing this. And he made sure that I was doing things. So that was a really wonderful, wonderful experience. And I, later on, I met him again in some, uh, in a Bhakti Shastri. He was teaching Bhakti Shastri. And I met him there. He was my teacher there. And he, he had this amazing style of teaching which was different to all of the other teachers he brought in practical life experiences into his teaching he and i, I tended to, to be the quiet one that wanted to sit in the sit like not say much but he would force you he would force everyone to participate mm -hmm. and speak up and then I remember on one occasion that he would give us homework where we would have to present for five, 10 minutes. And I, I was struggling to, because I think I'm not used to start doing that at the time. But then I, I had an idea that I would deliver my feedback through poetry. And he really, really encouraged me. Uh, and I actually, what I had done is uh, I, all my life, I'd been very reserved and I wouldn't let on how I felt about things. I wouldn't open my heart to anyone. But Jan Kinnat probably was the first person 
in my mm. whole life that I actually opened up to because mm. he was just you know how he is so you understand why I would have done that but uh, I did that in, and I actually did that through my feedback in the poetic style I was opening my heart out for the first time ever to Jan Kanata Prabhu no, nobody else in the class realised that they thought I was just acting uh, and I'm not 100% sure if Jan Kanata Prabhu knew or not but knowing the type of person he is I'm sure that he did know uh, so that was amazing and the final thing that I would like to share is I am so thankful that I, I, I actually was, and so I was unable to join the Zoom that he had last week, where everyone was paying their respects and uh, pra uh, praising Jan Kinat Prabhu for all the wonderful things and the wonderful person that he is. But I saw the recording afterwards and I was so incredibly inspired by watching that video that I have kind of like felt that I want to make it my life mission to follow his teachings and learn from his learn from his behaviors and his life so mm -hmm. this last couple of days I've been making some notes about oh uh, what did he teach me that I need to do what what examples did he give from his life that I need to practice on and and I I've got his picture here on my altar and I feel and I've never had this with I've never put a picture of anyone on my altar this is the first mm -hmm. time ever and I've and the other thing that was like I feel that he's in my heart He's in my mind and he's sitting right here in this room, wherever I am, sitting on the floor because he always sat on the floor. So I feel that he's there 24 seven. And I've never felt like that with anyone before in my life. And when mm. I woke up in the morning and normally I try and do a prayer, praise Radha, Radhani first and Krishna, and then uh, just do a short prayer. But the first thing, thought that popped into my mind before I started the prayer before I could even start was Jankinat Prabhu mm. so I'm, I'm, I'm not very good at all of this but I'm going to try my best and hopefully he will guide me still mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. thank you thank you Raj for sharing this Brilliant personalities, multifaceted personality. You know, it's all encompassing desire to help others become Krishna conscious through every means possible. He's really a spiritual giant, and uh, this brings it out very, very clearly of how he went the extra 500 miles, as you said, to help others. Thank you so much for sharing that. Hare Krishna. Would anybody else like to say anything or share some memories, something that you want to others to know? If not, we can end the call because I think Brinda, our host, might also need to leave because it's way beyond her usual time. Thank you, Brinda, for being patient with us. No problem, Mataji. It's fine. It's so nice to hear about Janki Natra. Thank you, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Nitenat Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Jai Janki Nath Prabhu. Ki Jai. Jai. So, so thank you all so very much you. for coming online and joining for class today. We will continue to eulogize, glorify, remember, appreciate, share more and more about Jankina. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mataji. Thank you all the devotees.
for joining and sharing. Thank you so much. I would like to pay my obeisances on Chakal Patara Vyasya Kripa Sindhu Veva Chapatita Nam Pavan Apyo Vaishra Apyo Namona Maha Ananta Koti Vaishna Vindu Ki Jai Shula Prabhupad Ki Jai Guru Maharaj Ki Jai He is Grace Janaki Nath Prabhu Ki Jai Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy birthday again, Susanna. Thank you, Sri Devi. Happy birthday to Janakina, dear Janakina Tingal Karindavan. Maybe right. he's, he's here. He's taking his butt there now. <laughs> mm. <Right>. Again. <laughs> Happy Krishna conscious birthday, Mother Susanna. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much. It should be about Janakina. Thank you very much, dear ones. Hare Krishna. Thank you everyone for joining. I'll end the call. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Mataji.